Hello everyone, this is John Wild, back to bring you again another look at Kenner's $6 million man. And today we're going to look at two items. We're going to look at the critical assignment arms and the critical assignment legs. Okay, so today we're going to be looking at the critical assignment legs first. Uh, this is a box example and uh, we'll take a little bit of uh, time to look at the artwork on the packaging. It kind of came with a window box here. It's got uh, two legs in the assortment and then a pair of shorts. Look at the side of the box. Turn to the back. Describes the two legs in there, the first aid leg and the exploding leg. A little bit, a uh, little bit of artwork there on the side, and then the uh, unobstructed picture of the six million dollar man in action. The top of the box and the bottom of the box. Now let's see what the uh, critical assignment legs look like on a six million dollar man action figure. Okay, so here we have it. Uh, this is the uh, critical assignment legs installed onto a six million dollar man figure. So as we pan down here, you're going to notice that the legs that came with the uh, six million dollar man figure have been removed and the critical assignment legs have been placed on. So uh, we'll take a look at the first leg, which would be the first aid leg. So uh, basic, the basic on the bottom here. If we crank open this uh, thing, there is the tool for the first aid, and then on the top is another compartment. We open up that compartment. We're going to see the inside the bionic components that were in there. Um, this tool on the bottom here, when we take it out. So this is uh, what came out of the lower part of the leg. This is the first aid tool. And there it is. And it's a little bit of a string attached to it. And then what you would do is, inside of this leg here, um, there were little components and you could fish this tool into it and you could pull these components out and move them into different positions. So a little bit tough to do with the camera. But I think you get the general idea what went on there. So basically the, the first aid thing could move these uh, components inside of this leg. And then move them into different locations. So that is the uh, first aid leg. So the exploding leg has uh, some levers on the side of it. It's got a top button and a bottom button. And the bottom button is actually a lock that prevents this top button from being engaged. And the reason for that is, is uh, when you didn't want your uh, six million dollar man figure to, ex you know, you didn't want it to explode, you would put that up into the top position and would keep that leg locked and would keep these panels solid so that it would continue looking like a regular leg. When you were ready to make the leg um, come off, you would press that tab down. That releases the mechanism. Then we would hold on to the top and uh, hasn't been done in a few years, so let's see if it works. There they go. They all shot off. So uh, that was the exploding leg. And then when the leg explodes, it shows the bionic details inside of the leg. Um, Okay, so this is the uh, package for the critical assignment arms. Um, we'll take a look at the artwork. So included with this uh, set were uh, a set of three different mission arms and a window box. And then uh, we'll take a look at the side of the box. 
the back of the box. So then the, uh, the arms that you had were the laser arm, the neutralizer arm, and the oxygen supply arm. There's a little bit more uh, artwork, and then it has that uh, picture that was displayed on the front without uh, it being marred at all. And the counter logo and the long playing toy logo. And then this one on uh, top of the box. Six million dollar man logo and the bottom of the box. Six million dollar man logo. So uh, let's take a look at what this looks like on a figure. Okay, so uh, now I have uh, my six million dollar man figure. I've uh, put the shirt that came with the critical assignment arms onto the six million dollar man figure and I have installed the first arm, which is the laser arm. So um, unfortunately, um, I don't have any of these that have arm skin on them right now, um, so I'm going to just have to show them off the way they were without their arm skin. You, you'll get a realistic idea of what uh, was going on with this arm. So basically the uh, laser arm is used in this way. Uh, the arm goes up and out, and then there's a double A battery in there. You take Steve Austin's hand, fold it to the side, press out, and it lights up a light and that was the laser arm this is the neutralizer arm with karate action so uh, take a look at the thing again I don't have any of these uh, loose right now that have any arm skins on them so we'll just have to imagine that there was some arm skin on there um, in his hand is the neutralizer gun so the way this one worked was the arm would be moved up into this position. The neutralizer gun actually stored inside of the arm of the six million dollar man figure in this little cubby right in his arm. This would open it up and you could fit that gun into there and then shut it up and you wouldn't even know that it was in there because it would all be covered with an arm skin. So um, the neutralizer gun, so you would uh, take the arm, put it into the position you notice on the back side of the arm there there's a little lever see that okay so now if I press that level lever it releases a spring and the arm moves down so again I'll show you that one more time and he throws his gun so it has a karate chop action okay so now I've installed the uh, last of the critical assignment arms and this is the oxygen supply arm so I'll take a look at the detail in the arm again the uh, arm skins were missing on these um, haven't yet found one or have done a restoration yet but what's, what's pretty interesting about this one is the the translucent plastic you can actually see I wish this would clear up I don't think it's going to but it actually has a little you can see kind of a green tank in there the tank actually says oxygen on it and you know it shows kind of some tubing and then the tubing comes out up here and supplies Steve Austin with a oxygen mask and this all stored inside of your six million dollar man's arm in a little compartment here you, this would all fold up and store inside of a side compartment in the arm so you know during regular playtime the mask and the um, and the tubing and everything would be hidden underneath the arm skin um, inside of the critical arm. So uh, what we looked at today was the critical assignment legs and the critical assignment arms for the $6 million man figure from Kenner Toys. Uh, we showed you examples of how each of the, uh, each of the uh, arms and legs functioned with your $6 million man and made the $6 million man toy very versatile. Um, and by adding these accessories really accentuated the play value of your six million dollar man figure which already started out as a very inventive and creative and uh, very playable type of figure so we'll get one more look at the six million dollar man uh, wearing the critical assignment shirt with the uh, neutralizer arm neutralizer arm with the karate action and the uh, critical assignment legs 
and behind it the uh, two packages for the uh, critical assignment arms and legs. So I'd like to thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, if you have any questions about Six Million Dollar Man toys or Six Million Dollar Man in general, I'd be happy to uh, answer them if I can. And uh, thank you for watching this video. And check back again for more Six Million Dollar Man toys from Kenner. Thank you.